What is up, guys? HTG Brian back with more LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This is Yavin 4 Great Temple Free Roam. We're going to get all 26 of those Kyber Bricks. We're going to stumble across five character tokens. In fact, we're also going to ring up three ship tokens and even a data card. Although we won't be spending any time soon, it's nice to have that one officially collected. Now, uh, the order of which how you collect these is not as important as just making sure you get them done dead. Now, uh, we do have quick links down below in the video description if you're looking for something specific or maybe missed something and want to jump around to find what you missed. And if you've been following along, we just finished up old A. Jean Claus space with that six kyber bricks yep there was that one task from the planet that actually counted a kyber brick in space it was kind of weird but all right great temple we're just knocking right next door over on yavin 4 and of course uh because this is free roam we have removed all unnecessary travel sequences so just kind of speed up the video a wee bit because this is a long one in fact it's just under an hour at like 52 minutes or something like that so here we are. Now, because this area does have a shooting gallery, and because I do have plans to make a shooting gallery challenge video, uh, we're going to go ahead and take on the shooting gallery first. So uh, it's on the outer side, uh, up a couple of floors. We're going to run all the way around, basically uh, all the way to the other side of the temple. Ooh, that was a pretty cool shadow. Did you see that? I don't know what kind of bird that was, but it was flying right above us, and it was casting its shadow right to our right. That was actually cool. I didn't notice that in the, in the earlier recording or even in the editing. All right, eventually we'll get over to a spot. That's not it. Uh, up top, there is going to be the shooting gallery icon. In fact, there it is. We can go ahead and use the old grapple points on the right-hand side to get all the way up there. Now, you guys are scratching your head wondering why I'm doing this. This is really just a, a way for me to easily capture and show exactly where to go later when I make that video specific for this challenge. So this is going to yield us a character token for completing it. It's actually Jack Porkins. You guys remember that? Porkins, no! All right, this one's actually called Keeping the Secret. So we need 1,200 points, which is actually pretty easy. I highly recommend using a bounty hunter on these, as they do have the triple pew pews. And, of course, I want to recommend uh, basically getting on and off the aiming down sight. So uh, likely the left trigger for you guys. Uh, basically, it just locks in. You can see how I'm zooming in and zooming out each time I, uh, you know, look at a bad guy. And that allows me to lock onto them and have pretty good aim. Ultimately, we, like I said, we need 1,200 points, and I think I end up with, like, double that. Because my aim is so good. No, it's really just the auto aim, the lock on. Um, I do miss a few along the way, and there's a couple that I soften up and don't quite take all the way down. Uh, but I do return. Like, that guy right there, he got away from me at first, but I'm going to track him down and get him. Where do you think you're going, buddy? <laughs> All right, so like I said, 1,200 points. I'm well beyond that right now, and I still got 10 seconds left. So I assume that if you guys are following my instructions here and you're using the Bounty Hunter, again, one of the main reasons is because of the triple bursts. Of course, uh, you know, looking down sight when you're close to an enemy should lock on and help you uh, sort of uh, heat seek those bad guys. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you got that done did. It was quick and easy. We're officially halfway done through the shooting galleries in the galaxy. So six of 12 d -d -d done did. All right, this next one is going to be inside one of these rooms. However, I got a little button happy there and didn't mark anything. And then I just kind of panicked and ran towards it. Basically, there is a room that is open. I think I targeted the one that wasn't, and uh, we're going to need to use a hero to open that later, but we'll go ahead and jump in, and look at this, there's a character token in here, and there's actually a mission called Run, Run, Run Yip. We're going to go ahead and have a quick talk with the doc here, who, uh, I think she's a doc, Mon Mothma, uh, hopefully I'm saying that right, uh, but we're going to be tasked with running around and finding three of these Run Yips that are scattered throughout sort of uh, disturbing or menacing the people nearby, so uh, we're going to go ahead and follow the markers to go ahead and find all three. Now, again, this is another one of those where another situation where there's three different locations you can head towards which one you take on first isn't important so if you don't follow along exactly in the order that we do them it shouldn't matter you just need to remove all three and you should be good to go all 
All right, watch that next step. It's a doze. All right, down below, right outside, is the first run. It's like a reindeer. I feel like poor Rudolph. Go ahead and take him down and, of course, uh, collect him by pressing the icon indicated there. It's going to go ahead and package him up nicely. That's right. And uh, zip him away. We'll find him uh, later, I guess. All right, next one is uh, down and around the corner, all the way around. All these are on the outside area, sort of uh, around the temple. And uh, ironically, there's this movie called The Ruins. It's a terrible movie, but I found it really kind of coincidental that yesterday, right after I got done streaming and right as I began finishing my edits on this guy, uh, the movie The Ruins came on. And it's like the, the actual premise of the movie takes place on a big tower, sort of like the Great Temple. Now, it's a terrible movie. I'm not recommending it. It's lots of death and, and destruction, and uh, I, I'm not a big fan of it. But I just found it very coincidental. You guys have probably seen it. Maybe, maybe not. Hopefully not. It's terrible. It's not as bad as Tusk. Oh, don't even Google Tusk. Don't even do it. Uh, I love Kevin Smith, but come on, man. Come on. All right, third run, yep, duh, duh, done, did, and now we can just go ahead and make our way back to the dock, or Mon Mothma, that is. And, of course, we're going to use these handhelds to get up top here. Depending on where you finish the third run yet, it might be in a different place. But, look, we basically ran all the way around the temple, trudging around trying to find them run yips. And we're going to go right back in the door. And where are you at? Where are you at? Okay. There they all are. I told you we would see them later. Our medics have confirmed the run yips have been exposed to some sort of spore. Oh, no. Drugs are bad, kids. Okay. So uh, we're going to go ahead and find these suspicious-looking plants. So part two of our mission here requires us to find the seeds. And again, the, the mission's pretty uh, forgiving in the sense that it shows you where to go. Now, I may get a little confused here. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Now, I did this on my PS4 save as well. And, uh, you know, it, it took me in a different direction. That's why I was a little confused in how this was working here. But essentially, there's a couple on the outside around the temple. In fact, I think there's one right on this ledge right here, which I missed my jump. Oh, no. Um, and then there's another one up on top. And then I believe the third and final one is out around the uh, kind of the exterior outer edge. So uh, look at that. That bounty hunter with that jetpack just scaled this tower like it was nothing. I noticed the Jedis do really well, too, with their jumps. And uh, so if you're having troubles or maybe getting stuck or not making it up, because I, I struggled with it a little bit with see, like right here. See how the timing didn't work out right there. I, I was struggling with that on my PS4 save and it took me a long time, but I had a good rhythm going here. So I just kept on kept on. All right. We're almost to the top. I promise. I promise. All right. There it is. Look, it's just right up top chilling, waiting for us. Go ahead and blast it and collect it. And then last but not least, the last one is way down there. <laughs> Oh, boy, watch that stuff. Oh, I did not do well with heights like that, you guys. I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. All right, so I was right. It's on the outskirts of the lower area. And this one's just going to be sitting right out in the open as well. Just give it the old pow. And, of course, there was a goo box right there, which you could go ahead and blast and collect that kyber break. But we'll be back later. I think that one's called Lost Treasure. And, uh, yeah, so... Uh, you know how we are. We don't like to double down and get too many things on screen at once or do too many things that might confuse the viewer, right? I mean, most of you are pretty capable of following along, especially if you're listening. But not everybody loves my nasally drone. A lot of people mute me, which is, uh, you know, it's okay, I guess. I'm an acquired taste. I'm not for everybody. Some of my jokes are great, and some of them are very boo-worthy, so... All right, we've basically made it all the way around the temple on the opposite side. And, of course, we're going to need to meet the dock over here. Uh, actually, we take out some bounty hunters first, but uh, the, the dock does eventually come and meet up with us. So I, I wasn't lying. But uh, we do have to take these guys out. And there are a couple of uh, little baddies scattered throughout here. And a couple of them show up behind you, too. So watch out. And then once we get them all done, did Doc shows up and says, uh, hey, thank you so much. We're good to go. We now know what was spooking the run yips. And there she is. And we should at this point get rewarded with that character token number two. Woo to the who. That's funny. They call them pirates. I don't know why. I have a hard time with the, the word pirate in the Star Wars world. It's just... You know, space pirates, I guess, exist, right? I mean, there was that old show a long time ago. It was Ice Pirates or something like that. 
All right. Hey, uh, while we're in this area right here, why don't we go ahead and take out a few targets and open up that cage with that Kyber brick in it? This one is actually called Line Em Up, and it's going to be the first Kyber brick of our video. In fact, we've been at it for over 10 minutes now, and we haven't even collected one single Kyber brick. What is going on? All right, there are a total of four targets that you need to blast away, but hopefully you'll get them all real easy. Like it says, just line them up, blast them, and collect that Kyber brick. All right, next up, guess what? We've got ourselves another Kyber brick. Psych! It's actually another ship token. This one is for the BTLA4Y wing. It's called Winging It. And it's actually our first ship token of this area, but it's another ship token to add to our collection. After a quick conversation with the old X-Wing pilot here, he's going to tell us that uh, these little uh, flaps are having some problems. So we're going to go around the back and take out the boxes that are sort of covering up this little nook. Inside, we're going to use one of our favorite astromech droids, BB-8, to go ahead and solve this puzzle from the inside out. Pretty simple stuff, really. We've done this more than a handful of times. It's going to go ahead and lift up those flaps, but we're not done yet. We've got some silver bricks to go ahead and take out. Now, in both of my attempts on my PS4 and PS5 goes, BB-8 gets stuck behind there for some unknown reason. So you're likely going to have to toggle to another character, but that's all right. Go ahead and take out both of the silver crates, build up the bricks left behind, and look at that. This X-Wing is good, and it poops out a little ship token there. It's a ship token, just to be clear. It's a ship token. Okay, just just making sure. All right. Uh, all right, winging it. Da -da -dun -did. Next up, we got ourselves Kyber Brick number two. Let's go ahead and collect that BTL, though. Hey, I do recommend talking to any of the people that you run around that may have some rumorage. Uh, it literally just saves you some money later and helps display a lot of the icons on the map as well. Uh, we do end up having to, I, I believe it's a rumor in the end, the very last one, because it's not showing anywhere. I knew it was there due to my PS4 run, but I sort of forgot to grab it while I was up at the top of the temple. And it ends up being the final guy. But All right, uh, this one's pretty simple. There is actually just a grapple point that's sort of tucked up on the left side of the brick. Use somebody like Django Fett to get up there and pull that lever down. And look at that, it's going to open up the box. And now we just got to collect that cab of brick. I'm going to go ahead and use the ledge there. You can walk around it. I, again, I've got my jetpack out for protection, but Ruin Raider c -c -c complete. We got that bad boy, and we are out of there. Next up, we got another Kyber Brick, which is uh, we're basically going to just knock out all the ones scattered around the lower area. And then we're going to sort of take on that middle toppy area with all the doors, make our way up to the top, and then come back down and finish the inner lower levels last. Now, uh, I didn't note the map for this particular collectible right away, but I did show you where the rumor was that sort of spawns this mission or gives me the idea of where to go. And inside, there's like a, you probably saw it, there's like a little dip. You can run through a little waterway and pop up. And we've got this giant puzzle here that needs some solvents. We'll go ahead and move that first piece onto the far right side. Go back out to the waterway and smash the debris to reveal the second piece, which we will uh, flip it around a couple times. I'm not sure why we did that, but funny angle, I guess. And last but not least, we need just the tip. And it's going to be over here in the back corner. We'll go ahead and use the fools to lift it up and out of this little space. And uh, once we get it out in the waterway, we'll drop it because our force power is not strong enough to put it all the way over there where it needs to be. So I had a little bit of a funny angle problem here, too, trying to get it through the hole there. I, in my PS4 go, I was able to go up and over the top. So you guys should be uh, able to do that as well. And because there is a distance issue with using the force, I'm going to recommend that you sort of get in the doorway to where that final puzzle piece needs to go. And it should be enough distance to reach it and slap it right on top. That's right. Oh, boy. We're going to go ahead and see what has been revealed. It looks like a new pathway down under. And we'll go ahead and mark it now as the brick has officially showed itself. And inside we get lots of bluesies, some gold and silver twosies, and, of course, that Kyber brick. Secrets of a Yavin Pole. All right, so making some good ground here. Uh, well, not really. It's Kyber Brick 3. We got, what, 26 of them? But hey, let's go ahead and take on another real quick. As soon as we get out of this waterway, we should target our next one. 
which happens to be part of a task called... Wait for it. Wait for it. Forgotten Treasure. We saw this one earlier. So I, I, I thought I... I thought it was called Lost Treasure or something like that. But this is the one with that ghoul box. So if you took that gold box out earlier when we were doing that mission for Mon Moth Mothma, you probably don't need to run back for this. But I always recommend following along just to make sure because sometimes there's more than one gold box or sometimes these missions do look pretty similar. But we're going to wrap around inside and there it is waiting for us to take it out with our favorite bounty hunter. Pew, 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 pew. All right, destroy that gold, despite the fact that we love some gold. And look at that. Forgotten treasure is officially ours. Next up, we got another Kyber brick. And uh, we'll go ahead and take that on as soon as we get back out of this. And let's see here. Which one is this? I believe this is the one where Buddy's up top. He's on that really tall, like, I, I wanted to call it a scaffolding. It's like a scaffolding, but it's like one... Uh, man, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. He's like way up there. And uh, we need to save him. If I was him, I'd be in some big trouble, as I already mentioned. I'm not a big fan of heights. And there's a lot of heights in this level. Like, a lot. But uh, over in the right corner to where the giant, uh, I guess it's like a, a lift of sorts. Uh, we'll go ahead and smash the debris and build the blocks into a hero terminal. And then we'll switch on over to uh, any hero of choice. For us, it was like, Captain Achilles or something like that. I I'm not sure who this dude is. Uh, I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments, though, because a lot of you knows and like to inform me. Teach the teacher, so to speak. All right, we'll go ahead and complete that. Once we get that part of the puzzle done, you got to smash that button. And then he drops it like it's hot. See what I'm saying? Like, I would be a little bit like, whoa, if I was up there personally. But that's just me. All right, got to go over and talk to him now. So lots of steps to get a Kyber break here. And, and what's it called? The the Ocelonly? Ocel uh, I'm sure that means something, but I have no idea. Drop a comment down below if you want to educate me on what is going on there. I'm sure it's some sort of like wordplay or punny stuff, but I, I'm not catching the joke. So right over my head. Phew. All right, this next one is actually pretty easily attained if you use the old staircase here. And we're going to get up here quite a ways above it. And then, uh, actually, there's a spot right up, like, where you can drop right down on it. Look at that. Woo to the hoo. All right. Welcome to the Great Temple. Seems like we should have got that earlier. But, hey, look at that. There's one of those Stormtrooper helmets rolling around on the little robot. Bot, bot, bot. And uh, we'll be back for those at a later date. That's a challenge-specific video. But we'll knock those out once we get all the way done did with the free roam. It'll be one of the first things we do. Check this out. We got a ship token. It's the Death Star. In fact, we need to go uh, recoup the plans. They've got the plans, and they, they're just going to keep making them, man. That's what he says. It's like, man, they've got the blueprint. They can just keep making them over and over and over again. This is an off-planet task, meaning we're going to have to fly off of old Yavin 4 and make our way somewhere far, far away. Looks like we're going to Coruscant and the Federal District, which once we land there, it turns out we got to go somewhere else. So... Uh, again, this is free roam, so we have removed the majority of the travel sequence, although we did see a nice disappearance of the X-Wing there. Uh, there is no space travel, and we're going to go ahead and land right here on the federal district of Coruscant. And right, all right. So we're going to go ahead and follow the old waypoint marker, which, again, once you land on Coruscant, it's always so confusing because it wants you to go way across the way, but you can actually ride a taxi to get there way faster. So uh, it's like wanting me to go the other way, but it's also saying you can go in the taxi. We're going to go ahead and choose the Coruscant Senate building because that's where everything is going down. And these taxi rides are pretty quick and efficient, so we won't mm, remove <laughs> any of that. Once we get over here, we're actually going to go to the right. You can see our icon is already showing over there. And once we get there, there is a guy we need to have a quick chat with. He basically gives us some info that we are not in the right place still. So we're going to go ahead. At, look at that. Someone stole the precious data. It's in the Grand Moffis. Get it? You guys? <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so next up, we have to go into the taxi again. And we got to ride at one more place. In fact, we got to go all the way over to the Western Fountain. So, again, this is just a, a quick travel to a different location. And it's just faster to get there than it is to hoof it by walking. That's what I mean. 
All right, uh, here we are. We're officially in the final location, and we need to go find Buddy, so follow the waypoint marker one more time. Once we find the little green icon on our map, you can see it already. It's a green comment balloon with, uh, there it is. We'll go ahead and have a few words with the thief. And then it turns out he tries to evade us, and he runs over to, uh, I believe it's an ATST. <laughs> we'll find out when we get there. Regardless, we got to take it down. He's going to try to battle us. Luckily for us, I don't know why he chose this battle where there's tons of thermal detonators, like, everywhere. There's a couple of guns, too. There's a stationary machine gun, which I used to finish him off at the end. But look, there's all these thermal detonators. He's going to run over into that waka. And I'm just going to toss him right at his feet. Look at that. See, I mean, it tells us what. And there's like three or four of these bins. In fact, if it blows up, plans pilferer. I love it. Uh, that's one of my favorite lines from the old NBA 2K games. He pilfers it. <laughs> that's such a weird, funny thing to say. But uh, just rinse and repeat. Like I said, there's a bunch of thermal detonator dispensers. And you're just going to want to run around and grab them and throw them at his feet, at his face, anywhere. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And, of course, if that's not doing it for you, you can always hop on this mounted turret back here and give him the old pew, 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 pew. And just like that, man down. We'll go ahead to the plans pilferer and we'll see what up here. Uh, all right. So Operation Stardust is pretty much co -co -co complete. It fooled me. It's got the old star icon over there, but really we need to hop in the old X-Wing and head back to the Great Temple. So we are out of there. Again, all travel time has been removed, and we are officially putting our boots on the ground. And look at that. All right, here we are. Now we just got to run all the way back up to that middle section and hand over the plans, and we should get the Death Star token in return, which is pretty sweet, right? I mean... Um, Fun fact for you guys, when I did this mission in my original editing, somehow I accidentally labeled the Death Star as a character token. So I got to the end and I was like, why do I only have, I have six character tokens and only two ships. What happened? Anyways, I figured it out, as you can see. All right, so, uh, yeah, so sometimes things like that happen. Mishaps, if you will. Speaking of mishap, I want to show you something kind of funny and crazy here. As we wait for the Death Star token to pop up there, over to our right, there should be a droid. You can see him. It was right behind me. Do you see that? He's a little red astromech droid. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take out this Kyber Brick real quick called Lost Power. Turns out there's a pluggable right behind me there. And we're going to go ahead and grab that. But notice that red astromech is gone now. I'm not sure what happened. Literally, he was there. I pulled up the map, and he disappeared. And so uh, I grabbed this fuse up on the uh, kind of the weird nook uh, right above. It's like a half a floor up there. We're going to slam this fuse in, and it's going to open the cage up, and we're going to collect that kyber brick. But again, I want to point out that there should be a character token right behind me with that astromech to start the mission. But he's not there. Which way did he go? Which look at I'm like literally like which way did he go? Which way did he go? <laughs> and I even pull up the map and I'm like, uh, there's a character token here. I got it marked, but he's not there, right? That's a little odd. So uh panic is starting to set in here. I'm like, what's going down? And I realize it's time to just go ahead and target another task. So the next one's gonna be called Yavin a movie night? Which I absolutely love the wordplay there, right? Like, you having a movie night? Nope, it's Yavin a movie night. All right, it's actually inside this other door. Remember I marked this one earlier and we ended up going into the one across the hallway? Not this time. We're actually going to go ahead and pull out our favorite hero character to go ahead and complete this hero terminal, which, again, is super easy. You just got to press the icons indicated once they get in that middle circle there. And it should open the door for us. Inside, we're actually going to need to toggle over to a protocol droid and split ourselves in halvesies. But not before taking out a gold... What is that? Is that like a dishwasher? I guess it's just a box. I don't know what's going on. It looks, it looks like some sort of like a uh, cleaning device, if you, if you will, an appliance. But again, we're going to need that protocol droid, a splitsies and halvesies. We're also going to need the top half because there is a switch inside. So I don't think the feet can get their lever pull on. But maybe I'm wrong. Go ahead and reassemble and watch that power pump, 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 pump it up. Look at that. There's even a little, like a handheld, a grapple point, if you will, that you can jump up and 
make it good, but it uh, doesn't apply to what we're doing here. Just a couple of studs up there, I guess. Might be a blue or a purple up there. Might be worth jumping up there, depending on what your stud count is. Although, I do not see anything beyond gold and silver. So, we're going to focus on the Kuiper break in the back. And look at that. You having a movie night? Why, yes, we are. Thank you for asking. Didn't get to stay around for the full feature, though. So, that's kind of a bummer. All right. Going to get my characters back in order here, as I do sort of have a preference of how I like to have them. Next up is going to be character token number three. Look who's back. Look who decided to show up. So he must have been at the movies. Now that the movie's over, he is back and ready to rock. Now keep in mind, too, that you will need, uh, uh, well, I guess, either a Jedi or a protocol droid in order to speak to this astromech, unless you've purchased the Universal Translator data card, which we have. So I only mention that in the event that you guys might find yourselves trying to communicate and not being able to. So protocol droid or Universal Translator should get her done. All right, so there are three different locations that we have to take out some of these bounty hunters, and uh, each location has three baddies. So just simply make your way to the waypoint marker and take out the three people. The first one for us is the Moneymaker crew. Uh, I don't know how much money they're going to be making after I get through with them, but uh, good news for us, headshots for the win. So because I've upgraded my blaster and because I'm using a bounty hunter, sometimes if you nail that headshot, it's like a one and done scenario. So definitely aim for the head. Next up, we've got another waypoint marker. We're going to go ahead and follow that all the way around, basically around the great temple here. And once we get there, you guessed it, three more baddies waiting for us. And they're all around the outskirts here. Boy, my computer just kicked up into another level of fan awareness here. Uh, hopefully that's not being picked up by the microphone too much. But the White Moon Gang. Ooh, I don't know. What is that? That White Moon is probably uh, some sort of reference to one of the planets. Endor, perhaps? I don't know. You guys tell me down below. Often I will fool you guys and say that I don't know what I'm talking about just to get some interaction out of you guys. But I for reals don't know what I'm talking about. So... That's probably a reference, and again, I'd love some, you know, information. Even if it's late, it doesn't make the video. I will know it in the future if it gets referenced again. All right, third and final location with the third, or sorry, with the three final bounty hunters. And as you might remember, we're actually using a bounty hunter ourselves, huh? So we'll go ahead and make our way all the way down. This one is basically all the way around on the opposite side of the temple. It's a long run. Once we get here, though, same old, same old. Three baddies that need to be erratied. So aim for the head, and we'll see how it goes. Fugitive. All right. So anyways, uh, each one of them has their own creative little uh, group name. And Buik Shao, two done. And last but not least, all three da da done did return to the dramatic droid. Yeah, he was pretty dramatic. He Look, he's like coming and going. Like, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> but uh, all right, he's no longer detecting any threats. So we are good. Raiders of the Great Temple done did. Is that supposed to be like Raiders of the Lost Ark? Kind of a thing, right? There's been a lot of Indiana Jones and uh, Harrison Ford type references. I think we've even got the Liam Neeson one or two, huh? All right, next up, we've got ourselves another Kyber Brick, the Ordu Aspectu. Uh, it's probably another reference to something. Uh, there's a lot of like weird names on this particular one. So far, I've got almost all the references thus far in the game, but uh, there's a few that have thrown me for a loop in this one. All right, so we're going to need an astromech droid to go ahead and open this door for us. In fact, simply solve this puzzle from the inside out. Line them up, press that button down, and watch this door open up. Inside, we've got a crazy two-part puzzle. So there are these crystals, but there's also this map. We're going to solve the map or complete the map before messing with the crystals too much. However, I do... Get a little force uh, happy here, and I pick up the wrong item, and uh, so you'll see, you'll see. But we want to find all four of these pieces that complete this map, as it's going to give us the key and how to solve, the, basically, where to put the crystals, right? So there's those yellow markers that represent the crystals, and then again, we've got the map pieces that sort of break down the galaxy. Now, I was trying really hard to get that bluesy, but I, for some reason, it was just out of reach, so I... Uh, 
Kept my focus back on the old pieces here. So here you go. I grabbed the wrong one, but I knew that one needed to be in that spot. You'll know you put the crystals in the right spots too, because it makes this really kind of whoom sound, right? If you put it where it's not supposed to be, it doesn't make that sound. It just kind of clicks into place. But um, all right, so uh, a couple of hidden pieces, a couple of right in the <laughs> right in plain sight pieces as well. Last one's up top in the corner in the spider web. All right, so we've got this puzzle co -co 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 complete, or the map that is. And now we can see we've got four crystal locations. And there's two on the left and two on the right. And basically, you just want to grab these guys and follow along with where I put them. No, not, that's not the right one. That's not the right one. Don't follow along. I lied. It's actually right to the right of it. There we go. It's a funny angle. Okay, so, and see it's glow, glowing green at the base of the crystal, too. So, this next one is going to be sort of in the middle right side. And the final one is going to be in the high right side. Booyah, kashow! Look at that. We've lined it up. The Ordu Aspectu. And that's probably something to do with the galaxy, or perhaps, or something? I don't know. All right, we've got it done did, though. We'll get that Kyber Brick, and we are out of here. Next up, you may have guessed it. It is another Kaba brick. So keep in mind, we do have those quick links down below in the video description if you're in a hurry. Like, for example, if you just want to see the remaining characters or something like that, that's all up to you. But we've got the communications chamber up next. That's right. Each one of these little doorways or rooms has its own name. So that's kind of fun. It's an easy way to make sure that you're in the right place. Yeah, usually following along with the map is pretty good, but it's not always the case. So this one's actually called Great Minds, and it actually requires a Jedi to influence some of these guys standing in front of the pooters. These guys actually have grapple guns. That should be noted. It's important because you got to get a couple of guys way up high. And rather than using like a box or something to lift them up with the force or something weird, we're just going to use the force to influence. You can see there, simply hit the icon indicated. And once you have control, you're just going to want to grapple up to either of the high points. It doesn't matter which ones. Now, of course, uh, you can also pull out Django or your bounty hunter or anybody that can use a grapple for that matter to get to that third one. And as long as you did the three that we just showed you, it just leaves one low one, which you can double jump with any Jedi. So uh, simply pull all four of the handles down and it should reward you with the Great Minds Kyber Brick. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and bounce out of here and take on our next Kyber Brick, which happens to be called Doorway Delights. This one is actually pretty simple. It's just kind of hanging out, if I remember correctly. It's right outside. You just need a quick grappler. And should be able to swoop that up. Ooh, the purple, too. Actually, this one is not a grappler. We're going to use a quick method shown to us by one of our viewers. So check this out. If you have a protocol droid or an astromech droid and a Jedi character out, you can actually lift the droid with the Jedi. You don't have to get a box out or anything funky like that like we were doing in some of our earlier videos, which there happens to be a box hiding behind those things over there. But look at that. We just go ahead and toggle quickly to the characters floating around, and it should collect that kyber brick. Woo to the Speaking of toggling to that other character, we have a couple of moments coming up soon where we're way up at the top of the temple. And we jump off to get a brick, and switching back quickly helps us out to not have to climb back up it. All right, this one right here was a pain in the tuchus. Color me rebellious. It's so simple. Simply run around to the outer corners. Step on each corner one time, and it should flip all of these to the right spot where we can double jump to that center one and flip those middle ones. Basically, any tile you jump on does not flip, but all of them around it flips. If you make a mistake, simply pull the levers and it should reset the puzzle back to normal. Again, just step on the four corners, then double jump into the middle, and that is that's as easy as it gets. That's it. That's it. So... Uh, I, I played with that one for a long time before I finally figured that out. Actually, there's a droid that tells you that. I, I tried like 10 different ways, and then I found this droid, and it gave me a tip. And it was like, use the corners first and then hit the middle. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so, all right, next up, the Great Temple Traversal. This is one of those half-level ones where you got to go up the stairs about halfway and ride on the ledge there or walk on it. This guy, you can see, also requires a scavenger and the net launcher. 
Put a couple of nets up there, climb up, and get that bad boy. Woo to the hoo! All right, next up, we've got ourselves our final ship token, which happens to be Darth Vader's TIE Advanced Times One. Is that what that is? All right, I hate to ask for more information, but what the crap? All right, this is another one of those doozies. All right, so check this out. Planetary Alignment. It's right smack in the middle of the temple, almost towards the top. So if you're just using the quick link to get here, you might have to go up a few levels. But as you can see here, there's a computer that has a couple of pieces that need to be slid into place. Once you line these up, it actually shows you what the planets should look like uh, in the back there. So what we need to do is match up what we see on the left with how it displays on the right. And I got an easy solution for you. Push those pieces into place, literally go left, right, left, right, 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 left. All right, so you get that? Just just again, it's left, right, left, right, 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 left. Easy peasy. Now, if you mess it up, I did find that if you leave the planet and come back, it actually resets it. You could probably go far enough away, it'll probably reset it on its own, but I do know for sure that if you mess it up and you get out of line and you, you want to come back, just leave the planet and come right back. It does take an extra minute or two to load and fly in and out. But it's totally worth it because it makes it so much easier than trying to solve it once you've made a mistake. All right, up the stairs onto what I believe is sort of the upper deck here. But it's not the tippity top. We've gotten more up higher. Which, as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of heights. So I'm going to try not to go up there, at least not right away. Inside, though, we've got ourselves another one of these sort of... Uh, I don't know, you, you got to do it in a specific order, I guess, is the best way to explain it. So you got one, two, three, and four from left to right, right? And we're going to solve it by going four, two, three, one. So four, two, three, one. There's those symbols down below, too. I could have used those, but I didn't know how to explain those. So I just went four, two, three, one. All right, Booyaka Shao, ceremonious carvings. Pretty easy peasy. That actually shows me my overall game percentage right there. Did you notice that? I'm just below 50%. What? I've got all of the free play done, all of the story done, and I'm like halfway through free roam, and I'm legit only 50% done with the entire game? That's madness. All right, we got a glider point over here. We're going to go ahead and jump out and get this look out below Kyber Brick. This is one of those situations, though, where if your other character is hanging out behind you on that upper deck there, we're going to want to toggle them really quickly so that we don't have to scale this whole place again. So look out below is officially ours, but we're still up top, so woo to the hoo! But as it turns out, uh, well, I guess we only have one more. We should have gone all the way up to the top. There is one. The final brick we get in this video is actually up behind us on the very tip top of the temple. We should have grabbed that before grabbing this one and heading back down, but we didn't. So feel free to do that if you want. Meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and do the jungle disassemble. This one's pretty tricky. I recommend just starting at the top. And, and I'm jumping a little bit, but I would recommend just sort of falling and walking off. So just walk forward until you stand on the switch. I got lucky and only had to do it once. I toggled back up top, which again, I should have gone all the way to the top and finished that brick at the very tippity tippity top, but I didn't. Now, look at me. I didn't actually go and physically walk through the brick. So I was kind of waiting patiently for it to award it to me. But Stair Wars, I like the word play there, is officially ours. All right, next up, we've got Kyber Brick number 17, Over the Wires. So I got a little button happy there with the map. I probably should have edited that out, but I didn't, so we'll have to deal with that. But we're going to head into the Research Hall next, which is down below. And inside one of those rooms are those golden doors. And, of course, once we get it marked, the game does most of the work for us, telling us how to get there in the most efficient way. And look at that. It's right down where we were earlier. How did we miss this? All right, this one's really simple. I'm going to recommend you use a bounty hunter because of the jetpack, sort of giving you that extra little lift. And there's a couple of vines in here. We're just going to need to swing from one to the other once we get up top here. So, again, a double jump off of one of these items would work. A jetpack off of one of these items also works. Um, you know, you could always use the force and lift like a protocol droid up there, too. That should work as well. But I just like the jetpack being able to kind of cruise a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. See? From one spot to another, and same here, same here. The jumping works well, too, but I just like that jet package. So over the wires, c -c -c complete All right, next up, we got Kyber Brick number 18, the Great Temple Timer. 
This one's outside, I believe, and I think we have to use the force to manipulate one of those boxes and hit four switches. I think that's this one. And we'll go ahead and uh, make our way back up the stairs. And we should go up all the way to the top and then drop down into like a weird little, uh, it's kind of like a little nook, but not quite. It's just like a little section of the temple. Yep, there we go. All right, we'll drop down with our bounty hunter. And then I realize my secondary character is the Jedi. And I'm going to need that Jedi. But he, of course, has not caught up yet. So one of those cases of the AI being not so I, right? Not so intelligent. All right, so all the way up we go and back around. We're going to drop down. And this one is super simple. You just need to use the force to lift this box and hit all four switches within the time allowance. Allowance? That's right. Figure it out. Before the timer goes out. <laughs> all right. One, two, three, four. Ah, ah, ah. Go ahead and drop it like it's hot. And look at that. We've got that caber brick ready to be collected. Thank you very much. All right. So now we're getting up there, almost into the home stretch of kyber bricks. Not quite, but getting there. Next up, you guessed it, another kyber brick. We're actually going to have to go down a couple of floors. And this one is actually called the Great Temple Navigator. So uh, I, I know I said I got to go down a couple of floors, but the GPS waypoint marker is actually telling me to go up before going down. So we'll go up and back into the planetarium. That's what I'm calling this room where we had to do the planetary alignment. And then we'll drop down a couple of floors as promised. And once we get to this ground floor here, Ed, wait a minute, where is it? Oh, another purple. Take it. Thank you very much. Okay, we've got to go down one more floor. My bad. Ooh, it's one of the half-level ones. All right, so off the back side of the stairs here. Oh, this one. This one is like one of the easiest ones in the whole area. In fact, uh, all you got to do is double jump out there and grab it. Now, you could use one of those boxes and lift up or out. But I'm going to double jump and grab it on the way down. So Great Temple Navigator is officially mine, too. All right, toggle back up to our character who was up top and just hanging out there. I'm, uh, I'm not sure which, which way do I go. Which way do I go? So we're back down on the floor number two, as you can see there. Next up is Lights Out. And it's back up again. So lots of upsy downsies here. And as it turns out, I do believe this is another one of those halfies. Where it's sort of halfway down. Yep, it certainly is. And it's out on this light. Simple enough. Grab that grapple point or double jump up top and swoop it up. Lights out is officially ours. All right, next up, we got another Kyber Brick. Pivot practice. So this one is actually, uh, it's a target-based one. And there happens to be a spot that you can go ahead and stand in one place and hit all four targets at once. Uh, it is a little bit of a funny angle if you're standing anywhere else, but the game sort of shows us where to be. You just got to remove some of the debris. <laughs> I promise I didn't need for that to rhyme, but sometimes it just works out. Look at that. See, there's this little ledge right here. You can tell it's there for a reason. And as it turns out, there's a target behind us, a target to our left, target right in front of us, and a target to our right. So pivot practice. If you've ever played any sports, pivoting is a pretty big thing, especially in basketball. And we're going to go ahead and plant our pivot foot, spin around, and get all four targets, revealing that cab a brick. All right, thank you very much. All right, next up, character token number four. It's going to be Woola Man's best friend is the name of the task. And we're going to get that G, is it G8 R3 or GB? My eyes are really bad. No, it's just really small on my screen right now. Sorry about that. So we'll go ahead and step up to G8. All right, got that solved. Thank you. And basically, we need to uh, roll around and uh, find Buddy that has a banana. You're like, wait, what? No, I'm serious. <laughs> it does. You know, no potassium shortage for this guy. Uh, let's see here. As soon as I get out of the way, look, I'm pretty sure it's banana. It's banana man. So there are a few people scattered throughout with information, so you feel free to talk to them. So basically, you're inside a giant circle that is sort of the hot zone, if you will. And uh, I go all the wrong way for the first couple seconds. Basically, I'm just trying to find my way outside. I know the next person I need to talk to is outside the temple, but I have a quick game of which way do I go? Which way do I go? And eventually, I find the big open door, and I start to make my way out it. But then the GPS waypoint marker is trying to take me up and around. I'm not having it, though. So I'm going to go outside the temple, and then it should redirect me 
out and around where I can find the circle again. Because you can see I'm not inside the hot zone. But as I swoop all the way around the temple, I eventually find it. And once I get a little bit closer, it actually shows me that there should be a person of interest. There you go. Green comment balloon there right around the corner. Urch. There we go. And let's see here. Droids got you running errands. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and make fun of me for doing doing the world a favor. And all right. So now I, I already knew where I needed to be. It's out here by this rumor. So I'm going to go ahead and target this and make my way out there. So it's sort of behind me, which, again, the game wasn't really sure where I should go. It just told me the hot zone. And luckily for me, I did the PS4 Go, and I knew exactly where he was. A fauna fanatic. So we'll go ahead and look at that. Please stop feeding the Woolamanders. That's right. I, I'm pretty good about, well, I'm terrible, actually. Drexler knows I'm a sucker. I give him treats and all sorts of things all the time, especially at the table. Like if I got some steak or some chicken, he's my best friend during that time for sure. So definitely probably my bad for feeding the Woolamanders as well. But we got that character token. In fact, there's only one more character token left, and we'll get that in a little bit. It's actually Red Leader. Red Leader standing by. You guys remember that, right? All right, hey, there was another Kyber Brick on the outer skirts. I don't know how I missed this in my earlier goes, but I did. And we're going to go ahead and swoop it up really quick. It's called Masasi Exploration. I'm probably saying that wrong, but uh, we'll go ahead and find that it's up top. It's a little bit of a funny angle, but luckily for us, there is a vine there. It's divine. We'll go ahead and climb. Divine. <laughs> boo, Brian, boo. All right, we'll use the jetpack to get up onto this ledge and, of course, out and on top of that kyber brick. So no more exploration there. And next up, you might have guessed it, kyber brick number 23 is going to be Amidst the Junk. This is another one of those super easy ones. It's actually just hiding inside the bottom floor of the temple. And uh, it's actually just like it says. It's hiding amidst the junk. There's a pile of debris. We need to remove it and uh, go ahead and collect that brick. I can't remember if this is the one that's got a silver box or not. One of them has a silver box. I think this one might. So we might have to get a silver brick breaker out, too, to go ahead and complete this one. But you can see there we're almost there. It's just hiding amongst the debris. And I think it's just chilling. Yeah, this one's just hang hanging out. All right, take it all out. Get inside there. Woo! To the hoo! All right, we got another kyber brick coming up and then we got a data card as well so we're going to swoop up that data soon in fact is it next no we got spare parts this i do believe is the one that we need the silver brick breaker for and yes sir all right so we'll swoop around and inside under the stairwell is a silver crate pull out your favorite villain character yeet one of them thermal detonators and watch it go kaplooey and then, of course, collect that spare part, Kyber Bricky. Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. All right, back to my bounty hunting self. And next up, I do believe, is the data card, which is going to require somebody with a little bit of grappleage. Luckily for us, our bounty hunter can get it done. And this one's super simple. Simply grapple up top, all the way, and jump and collect. Booyah, kashow. All right, look at that. We've got 10 of the 19, so we're officially over the halfway point of those. I don't know why they didn't give us 20. Why didn't they give us 20? You should know the answer to this. I mean, I don't know the answer, but you should. No, I'm just kidding. Really, though, it seems weird that they left us with 19. Might be a reason for that. All right, so, hey, did you notice that there was a red door there, Block? We also have a swiper spot there. Swiper, no swiping. We need one of those NES controllers or a pluggable, which is really a, I guess it's an ID card of sorts. We'll go ahead and swoop it up and swipe it up. Or swipe it down, I guess, if we're being technical. Oh, no, he did it. It opens the door, and inside we've got ourselves a Kyber Brick. All right, last but not least for character tokens, we've got our final mission here for Garvin. And uh, this one's called Battle Above Yavin 4. So this one obviously is going to take us off planet. And uh, we got a, a bunch of baddies that need a ratty. In fact, uh, quite a bit of them. 
and we'll take these guys all down and make our way back to the ground because there is one more kyber brick despite the fact that our map wasn't showing it i know i already told you earlier that there was one at the very top of the temple and we're going to come back and swoop that one once we complete her this and pick up the character token for garvin Dries, red leader standing by all right so eventually i'll get control of my character there we go boy that seemed like a really long pause and uh, we need to report to Garvin outside of Yavin 4. So we've got to travel to space. Once we get here, we actually just need to locate him. And then we're just going to follow him around. And, and there's no travel that happens. They all come to us as I smash into him there. Really, you just need to get close and cue the mission's uh, next step by uh, activating the conversation with him. And now we need to protect him. You can see he's got the uh, health meter on the left side there. And uh, I didn't have any problems keeping him alive. However, I do get rammed a time or two and shot quite a bunch. And there's a lot of TIE fighters that come to try to take us down. And I'm not talking about the six that are showing up now. There's like four, maybe five waves of baddies. Feel free to uh, use your proton torpedoes or just lock on and get your blast on with the pew pews. Either way works. I find that once you've upgraded the blasters or the ships themselves, it seems like it takes too long to lock on and fire a torpedo when you could just shoot at them and uh, take their health down long before the lock on happens. So, I mean, of course, you could always, you know, pretend like you're playing in Top Gun and be like, I got Tone. But, you know, I mean, uh, you could also probably have uh, taken the bad guy down by the time you found Tone as well. So. All right, so we've got a second group of 12, or sorry, second group of six, totaling 12. Old man Brian Brain strikes gang. And you might notice too, there is a Kyber brick floating around in space. That's because we have not taken on this area. That'll be next. It'll be right after this video. So uh, following along with our release schedule, if you're actively uh, with us, it'll be on a Tuesday. If you are uh, playing this down the road and it's already been released, then you can watch it on any day you so choose. <laughs> But for now, we've got our planets being released on Saturdays, and then we've got Tuesdays and Thursdays as possibilities for planets, challenges, and uh, even upgrade videos, as we have been doing some of those as well. In fact, we've got four of them out so far. We will probably have our final upgrade video when we do our final character purchasing and all the remaining data cards and all that stuff. But look, all right, so we just got another group of six down, and here's a group of eight. This one goes a little bit faster. They sort of clump together for some reason on this final one. I think it's the final one. Yeah, it must be because I'm looking at the timeline. There might be one last little section, but I'm feeling like this is it. And, all right, seven of eight. One last standing baddie. All right, all right, all right. All right, so that was it. We're going to go ahead and approach the icon here. It's a big star comment balloon. And Go ahead and hit the icon. For us, it was Soikul. And look at that. Good job, everyone. That ought to keep them off. Red leader. Good job. <laughs> All right. So battle above Yavin 4. C -c -c complete. And we should get that Garvin Dries red leader character token. And we do. So some of these space missions are presenting the character tokens now. I'm not sure if that was something they fixed or if it's just a couple of flukes that I've had in the past. But as you can see here, we've got everything except for the final Kyber brick. So uh, we're going to land back on here and then just make our way up top. Now, I look at the map real quick and I find that it's not showing itself, meaning that I have not found the rumor and apparently have not been close enough for it to pop up on the map. So I'm going to have to spend some studage and, of course, buy a rumor, which is no problem for me as I'm sitting pretty, uh, pretty good on the old studge. You can see I've gone through all the floors and nothing is showing. So let's go ahead and pull up our puzzles because that's usually what's missing. If you're missing a Kyber brick, that is. And sure enough, atop the Great Temple. So it looks like I've already got the rumor. So I was maybe wrong on that. But for whatever reason, it just wasn't showing on my screen. So we've tagged it, which it's literally at the very tip of the temple at the very top. So very middle all the way up. So just run up as many stairs, ladders, and things. Or maybe you want to climb the outer staircase like I did earlier. Doesn't matter how you get up there. You just need to get up there. Once we get up, there's actually kind of a uh, secret path. I believe it begins with the grapple. And then you got to kind of uh, shimmy, shimmy all the way up. Why no shimmy, Jimmy? <laughs> 
But we get plenty of shimmy. Don't worry about that. It's quite the obstacle course, if I'm being totally honest. Oh, no! Okay, good thing I was able to toggle to my other guy. All right, so, in fact, it turns out I actually needed a grappler, and look at that. He is a grapple-based person. So uh, we'll go ahead and get our grapple on after a couple of funny angles there. And once we get... Uh, look at that, we're close. We're only 19 meters away is what it says. I do have a couple of uh, user error moments here as I fall down and uh, have to re-jump or re-grapple up top. And you can save yourself a couple of jumps or tasks by just sort of switching or trying to grapple up ahead of yourself, if that makes sense. And up and around. I told you we had to shimmy around. So I definitely suggest using patience here. Don't try to wing it or jump it or rush it. Just wait. Wait it out. And it's going to pop out, and I'm carefully making my jumps. And out around this ledge, same thing. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's going to pop back out, and time to go. And this next one, we got to, uh, you know, sort of uh, use our balance. I'm glad there isn't a balance meter. Uh, some games actually have those, and, oh, man, it drives me nuts. They're usually not very awesome, so, uh, yeah. All right, around the corner. This time it went the other way. Go ahead and grapple on. I'm going to suggest that you wait for those flaps to go in and then grapple all the way to the top and skip them all together. And look at this. Top of the world, Ma. The final Kyber brick for Great Temple. The top of the Great Temple is officially ours. All right, we'll jump for joy a couple of times. And, of course, as we always do, we're going to go ahead and pull up our uh, menu here, which is going to show that we've got it all done, dude. Woo to the who! We got them all, and hopefully you did too. Hey guys, that's gonna wrap it up for Yavin for the Great Temple Free Room. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. Of course, we're available on social media and happythumbsgaming.com as well. Feel free to check us out there. As for me, though, that's gonna do it. As always, until next time. So yeah.